Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and I am cheap. How cheap? Well, I'm so cheap that I only paid $3.40 for Nation Red. Yes, as I'm recording this, it is Halloween night, and I thought what better way to celebrate than to slaughter many, many zombies. I also thought about maybe playing a little bit of a horror game for you guys, you know, letting you hear me scream or whatnot, but, uh, yeah. This seems a better fit for me and my particular persona. So we are going to slaughter some zombies here in Nation Red. Nation Red was produced and developed by Diesel Power. That's Diesel. Replace the S with a Z, because it's hardcore. All right. Nation Red, if you haven't heard of it, is a very well-respected dual stick sort of isometric overhead shooter it will remind you of alien breed 2 if you saw that video a couple of weeks ago this game is considered by many to be the absolute pinnacle of this particular genre the isometric dual stick slaughter zombie genre uh, and i am very excited to play it i ran through the tutorial just to familiarize myself with it now i'm just going to go right into the single player we will get some action we will kill it we will get some action, we will kill some zombies, and we will attempt to speak the English language as if we've been doing it for more than one day. So we've got missions, we've got survival, we've got free play, barricade, and custom. Now I do know that this game has been very heavily modded, as well as uh, it's continued to be updated for free, and many of those updates have come from the community or community suggestions. Uh, so let's go ahead and just start into select mission. And let's see what we got. Oh, just throwing us right into it, huh? Okay. Well, let's shoot us some zombies. Some grenades here, so... Um, yeah, we are shooting zombies. You will probably hear me frantically clicking in the background. Sorry about that. Just, uh... Gonna have to live with it. I imagine that this level... This would do great with a uh, with a controller. I unfortunately do not have one at my disposal. If you see up in the upper right hand corner it is urging me, in fact begging me, to press the space bar. So we'll go ahead and do that. And when I do that I get to pick these perks. Now the perks help you define your character. They last for the level and uh, they give you uh, basically some kind of special, as you can see, some kind of special ability. Uh, let's see, so you can kind of work them together uh, based on the weapons that you have, or you can try to, uh, if you're being overrun, you can sometimes get health back, all kinds of crazy stuff. Uh, two automatic seekers, they find, they kill. Well, that just sounds dandy. Look at that. There we go. Oh, amazing weapon right there. So this game is kind of all about perks and weapons and, uh, well, slaughtering z zombies, as you can see. Um, so, uh... Yeah, I mean, there's not a whole heck of a lot more to it. Um, as you can see, I've already achieved another level. Reload here, a bit of a slow reload on this particular gun. Luckily, I have my Seekers helping me out there. You can adjust the camera a little bit, give you a little bit more of a view of what's going on. That is always nice. Woo. we got a couple of levels now at this point, so we should probably check in and... Uh, Grab that AK right there. There we go. Let's check in and see what sort of perks we might have at our disposal at this point. What do we get? Accuracy, luck. Ooh, more power-ups. Let's go for luck. And I actually already have another level, but I want to get a little bit of luck here. Sentry gun, that'll help out quite a bit. There we go, very nice. And the mission is succeeded. Or it was a success, however you want to say it, you know. Same difference. Okay, so, uh, yeah, such is Nation Red. But it's so good at being what it is. Um, it, it isn't... Uh, it, it isn't redefining storytelling in the gaming genre. Uh, but what it is doing is it is doing a damn good job of being a fantastic horde shooter. And uh, there are co-op. Uh, there's a co-op mode that, like you saw, there are other modes uh, available. There's a survival mode. Uh, we've already got a level. That's very nice. Get some dual pistols here. And again, this game is all about power-ups. It's all about getting your new weapons. It's just all about going crazy on zombie flesh. 
Let's see. Cut your enemies down to size with a set of triple boomerang saw blades. Gotta go with that. Got to go with that. Gonna get, gonna get lots of Steam achievements, I would imagine, as this is my first time playing. Oh, that's nice. Feast on hot lead zombies. Oh, this is just... It's just a fantastic example of what it is. I mean, this game is not... Uh, it, 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 it's not complex. It puts itself right up, right out there, right up front. It says, hello, this is what we are. And, uh, yeah. It does a damn good job of being exactly what it is. And that's a lot of what we've encountered on uh, this channel, on these shows, is games that are really, really good at being one particular thing. I'm pretty good on life, so I don't think I need regeneration. Uh, let's see. Fifty percent more damage when any of my melee weapons. Well, this is a this one's a hard choice. Uh, movement and attack faster because I mean I have another level, so I don't really even have to care too much. Um, I can go right into a new level. Also have grenades. Grenades just end up functioning more like little smart bombs that clear the area immediately around you. Um, there we go. You can see my little combo, a combo modifier in red in the upper left-hand corner, uh, climbing to ridiculous numbers. I don't know what it takes to actually reset the combo modifier, um, but it is ridiculous at this point in the in the hundreds, as you can see. Let's go ahead and check in and let's take a look at the uh, at the next set of perks. Remote detonator, heavy iron, mirror image. 1% extra. Oh, we'll go with luck again. I mean, I like luck. Yeah, a little health. Yeah, luck is already working out to my advantage. So so this is it. You know, this is it, guys. I mean, this is... I don't want to pick that up. This is Nation Red. And, and you know, it's put a smile on my face. I mean, what better way to spend a Halloween evening uh, than just indiscriminately slaughtering zombies? I don't know why I'm slaughtering them. Um, all I know is that they must be killed, and I'm the man for the job. Now, I've acquired a shotgun right off the bat. That's very nice. Oh, just absolutely, absolutely blowing them apart. A hammer? I'm not sure what that does. Oh, it attracts them. They're like, uh, they're like graboids from, uh, from Tremors. They're attracted to, <laughs> they're attracted to vibrations, apparently. Okay, don't want that machete. Whoa, okay, no reload. Oh, yeah, there we go. Now it's time to just go crazy. Not sure how long that lasts, but I'm... There we go. Uh, what is this? Oh, the flamethrower again. Ah, uh, charring. Oh, this must be a boss. Okay, he's... Not doing much, but he does have a very intimidating-looking saw. And I don't really want to deal with that. So I'm going to move away. Now this flamethrower is fantastic, but it takes a heck of a long time to reload. And it doesn't really seem to do a whole lot of damage to the boss here. A lot of these zombies have weapons. It's my understanding that later on some of the zombies will have guns. That's quite an interesting twist on the zombie uh, zombie genre. I guess we're going to have to kill this boss man at some point, so let's see what we can do. I suppose let's level up and see if this will help us any. Counter blow, reflex boost, shrapnel, last breath, underground fused explosion. Okay. Not really sure how precisely that worked, but uh, there you have it. Oh, reload, reload. Oh, man. Oh, man. I am just... Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Too much, too much. Okay, let's let's set off some... Oh, I don't even have grenades. When you don't have grenades, you just do little kicks. <laughs> quite quite sad little, little roundhouse kicks. Okay. Gas canister explosions. Remote detonator. Engineer. Okay, well, let's just do that. 
I am near death. There's some health. Forward to the health. To the health. And I have died. In my vein. In my vein. <laughs> While I attempted to get the health, but my attempt was in vain. I almost said my vain attempt. And that uh, changes the the meaning of the words there. So there you have it. That's the missions. Um, that's pretty much it, apparently. You just kind of go through. You slaughter zombies. And uh, you perk up. Perk up. And uh, mayhem ensues. So let's go ahead and take a look at one of the other modes before we go out of here. Uh, free play. Let's see. Hold off the zombie evasion as long as possible. Survive as long as possible with weapon drops only. Hold off the zombie evasion. These, these are all these are very similar, uh, very similar descriptions of these uh, of these game modes. Uh, let's just do free play. Warehouse, gas station, roadworks. Uh, warehouse it is. Practice. Well, let's do it. So, um, back in this familiar level, and we are just slaughtering the zombie hordes. Reloading. Okay, gonna get our first level up here. What do we get? Oh, the two automatic seekers. Like that, like that. Oh, got a little bit of stealth here. I'll take that. Some mines I can lay down. That's nice. They just kind of drop down behind me. I really need a weapon. Oh, yes, the steam cannon. Steam hammer, excuse me. Oh, doubling the experience. I'll take that with a bouncing Betty there. Whoa, okay. Getting a little sloppy at this point. Let's uh, pull it in and switch over. You can hold two weapons at once. So um, you start out with a sort of a melee weapon. So I've got the steam hammer, and I went ahead and swapped over so that I could get something else on my melee slot. Still don't have any grenades. I enjoy some grenades at this point. It's on fire. Oh yeah, the auto shot. That'll do. There are some grenades. And we have another level, so we might as well go ahead and see what we got. Remote detonator. Uh, health is under 50. 25% more ammo. Combo streaks. Supersonic shock. I like the sound of that. I'll go with that. I want my shockwave. There we go. Very nice. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is Nation Red. Um, it is a hell of a game for what it is. Um, you know, I can't say enough. It's not redefining uh, my idea of gaming. It's not... Uh, that guy was crawling. It was a little disturbing. Um, it is not... Oh, good lord. It's making me very happy. Um, it is a zombie slaughter fest. There we, there we go, the carbine. Take that. Oh, well, there was my shockwave again. So we're just, uh, yeah, we're just trying to survive. Uh, survive, survive, survive. And uh, that oh, ghost. Oh, okay, ghost is a little, that's nice. I like that. All right, let's go. Auto shotgun. And the perks are just starting to sort of stack up. Very, very nice, very nice. Ooh, what is this? Turbine. Well, whatever it is, it killed me. Uh, so there you go. I am ranked 12,528th for that particular performance. I lasted for 2 minutes and 18 seconds. Isn't that just fan-freaking-tastic? Uh, quite a ways to go if I want to get into the annals of Nation Red history and, and rank up there with the best of the best players. All right, guys, this has been Nation Red. What do we think about this game, Nation Red? Again, I say for what it is, it's absolutely worth every penny. It's always difficult to judge these games because you say, well, well, this game is $10 regular price. I got it for $350, $340. Um, is this game worth $10? If this is a game that you want, if this is what you want and you know what you're getting into when you get into this game, this game is absolutely worth $10. Now, if you put this game up against some other $10 game that has more depth, more modes, whatever, is it worth $10? Maybe not. 
And this is the difficult thing about rating anything. If you want to give anything in this world a rating, how do you do it? I mean, how do you really compare things? So I try not to make my ratings comparative. If I give one game five bucks out of five, and that game is normally $20, and I got it for five, and it's a deep game uh, that has a lot of uh, story, single player, replayability. Like, for instance, I just recently bought Red Faction Guerrilla. That's a $20 game, previously a full fledged $50 title. I got it for five bucks. Now, it's most definitely worth the $5 that I paid for it, and it would most likely be worth the $20 that I paid for it. But in comparison to Nation Red, the playability of something like Red Faction Guerrilla is completely in a different plane of existence. It, these games don't even touch one another when it comes to that sort of immersive single-player experience that you can get out of a quality first-person shooter or third-person shooter. Um, but for what this game is, it's, it's great. It's great at being what it is, and I don't disagree with people who put this at the top of this genre. Uh, I think that for those reasons, Nation Red definitely gets a 5 out of 5. Um, I don't see any other rating that I could give this game. I mean, it, it, as I say, in comparison to other games, uh, it is not necessarily the best or deepest game I've played. But for the 10, 15, 20 minutes that I've been playing this game this evening, I've had an absolute blast. And I can see myself coming back to this for multiplayer to challenge myself in the free play mode or in the survival mode. And I can definitely see myself continuing to enjoy this game. It's not breaking any barriers, it's not redefining gaming as I know it, but it is an amazing little zombie killer. Alright guys, I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy.